Hey, I'm Zachary Lowe with Ascend Engineering, and today we're gonna to be showing you how to run Hiddle on the Voxel 2. So let's get started with the hardware. So as you can see here, we have the Voxel 2. We have a charging station, AKA just a USB, or not USB, this is just a XT60. Then we have that going into a UBEC, and then that UBEC is powering the Voxel 2. Now we also have a USB to USB-C, plugged into the USC, USB-C port of the Voxel 2. And we also have a fancy cable called an FTDI cable. So what this is, is it is just basically imagine a USB on one end and on the other end, it's just these raw header pins. And so what we've done is we've soldered together a four pin adapter that goes into this part of the Voxel 2. And what this is, is it's the ground, the power, and then a TX and an RX port. And so this is gonna be connecting, or this is gonna be communicating over serial. So now that we have the hardware going, we're gonna get the software going too. So two great links in general are, uh, the first link is this modal AI technical documentation on the Voxel 2 and how to run it in Hiddle mode. Great, great, great documentation here. Then the other thing is the PX4 uh, user guide on how to get Hiddle going. Hiddle stands for hardware in the loop, by the way, and these are both great resources to use. So first thing to do, okay, is this line right here, hard for the hardware setup in the Voxel 2 PX4 Hiddle page. So I'm gonna copy this echo one line, pseudo T, and then a bunch of jargon, and then paste this into my terminal and hit enter. What this is doing is it's telling the FTDI cable to relay uh, its data over to the Voxel 2 as fast as possible. So this is um, something that you should do for the hardware to just get it um, in the best position. Then um, we just continue on. And so I like to follow the PX4 user guide for this part from this point onwards. So um, I just go to step four and I copy this line right here, this source tool set up gazebo, right? And so I wanna make sure that I'm in my PX4 directory. And I just paste that in, hit enter and bam, I'm good to go. Um, something to make sure, very important. So if I go to the tools setup, or sorry, Siddle, gazebo, models, iris, hiddle, and then iris hiddle.sdf, there's this one line right here, serial device, TTY USB zero. Make sure that this line right here is TTY USB zero because FTDI cables always show up as TTY USB zero in your dev environment. This originally will say TTY AMA zero. Very, very important. Now, once we've sourced our environment, we're just gonna copy this gazebo line, right? We're just gonna paste it in there and hit enter and then Sure enough, it's gonna open up a serial device and bam, now we have Gazebo running, right? So we have a drone in the environment and we're good to go. So now that we have Gazebo running, right? I'm gonna go to another terminal window now and I'm gonna ADB shell into my Voxel 2. And now I just go to any environment, honestly, and I just type in Voxel PX4 Hill. I hit enter. And now PX4 is running on the Voxel 2, and it's connecting to Gazebo via that serial link. So you're gonna give it about, I don't know, I would say 30 seconds of time for it to finish booting up and advertising all of its topics. And once it gets to a specific section inside the code base, it should be ready to um, accept commands from this PX4 shell. So um, it looks like the GPS has been set and all of the topics have been good to go. So. You know, if I do something such as simple as commander arm, you'll see now that the motors are spinning. And if I do something like commander take off, you'll see now that the motors are spinning a lot faster and the props are going. Drone's taken off in the simulation and now it's just hovering. And so um, you can run missions, you can run it in VIO mode, you could do pretty much a cornucopia of things. So I'm just gonna do a commander land now Drone's gonna land in the simulation. It's gonna disarm. And uh, that's pretty much it. And that's how you run Hiddle on the Voxel 2. I'm Zach Lowell with Ascend Engineering. If you have any questions, you can reach out to us at ascendengineer.com.